Welcome back, my YouTubers and YouTube watchers, to Roman's Literature Club. Sayori smiles, shaking her head. It's just no good, Roman. Uh. Something feels wrong about everything. It feels off. I don't know how to explain it. Almost like the club, like the world. It's like everything is wrong. Excuse me? What do you mean by wrong? You shouldn't even be thinking about me right now. I feel out of place, like I'm floating alone. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. I checked my phone to see a barrage of well punctuated in inquiries. Oof! Uh, Rom, you have something. Okay. I'm light! <laughs> After moving room to room and raising awareness of our club, Monica and I decide to take a break. Monica, this is really boring. We are almost there, actually. Just a little more push. I think we can try and maximize the time. Yeah, sure, but like, what else can we do? I have an idea to spice things up. Oh. True for there. Oh, um, oh boy! Oh boy, yeah, that reminds me of something that two of us used to play when we were kids. We can do that! Okay, Romy, since I just suggested the game, you go first. True or dare? <laughs> I have a bad feeling! I, I make truth. Truth, Monica! How? I hope Monica doesn't do any of those spin the ball questions that make me make a person blush. But then again, this is Monica. She's going to make full use of this of the situation. Okay, I have a question now. Do you ever have a crush on me? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a question is that? Moment of truth. I hate games like these. Yes, and also, why do I need to save that? You should already know what it is. All right, all right. Yes, I did have a crush on you. But then there's Sayori. Uh, I see. Roman? Yeah. I, uh, I had a crush on you too. <laughs> I turn a little red. Whew. Not only you, pressman, but also Roman. <laughs> you did pretty good there. Maybe we should go back to work. I guess that was a bit unfair, maybe, but I had a good time today. We get back to work and play around. By chasing each other like we were used to. I'm I I'm definitely gonna put the clip from the second one in here. Are you me? I know you probably don't listen to me, but please put this in there. Not now, but maybe later. Before with this pause, maybe. You did pretty good there. Maybe we should go back to work. I guess that was a bit unfair there, maybe. But I had a good time today. We get back to work and play around by chasing each other like we were used to. Actually, it's as if we were playing like kids all over again. I let out a defeated sigh. I wonder. I have a weird picture in my mind where naked baby Roman and naked baby Monica just Running around in, a, in the garden. Just for hide and seek. Or chasing. Monica is a very fashionable girl. Wouldn't mon want to look like her cousin or something. <laughs> if yes, then I was only... Oof! It's Sunday. I thought it still was Saturday. But I'm... It feels like a different day. After a long exchange with Monica via text yesterday, she agrees to show up at the chocolate store just down the road. I am really nervous. Roman. Oh, uh, hey, Monica. Monica is... I'm at loss of words. Holy moly, fishing lolly. You look beautiful. Thanks, Roman. You look great too. 
You really like wearing black. Well, I wish my wardrobe had more wear it. Yes, and also... Oh! Yeah, I can take the rest home if needed be. I don't want either of us to die from a sugar overload. Yeah, I sincerely hope this doesn't bother you. Monica, just have a good time. My money is not your concern, and I've got plenty to burn. Besides... Ah, you give me the fish. Especially this is the sec the first time I have to go to the second page. I wonder how many times I get here. I break my brain thinking about why I did such an extravagance to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get a 50% discount. Nah, it would be more. This is not a good idea because, ah, eh. but. As the president of Literature Club, I would do anything for you. I would do anything for you. Just name it. Roman, what kind of a response is that? You should stop putting girls on a pistachio and treat them as equals. Otherwise, you'll never find a real partner, you know? Oof! I should have said something else, I think. Yes. Because couples get a 50 percent of this card! <laughs> They have a 50% discount for couples on Sundays! Uh huh. So we. So we really are a couple now, huh? <coughs> She's happily stares down her cake, sliced for a moment, probably taking in every detail of how it looks before she tasted it, and then make a photo of it. With the, what looks like restrained excitement, she takes her first bite. Using my phone, I take a quick picture on silent mode. I have... I... Okay, mm, I, I saw that already. First. Second. Holy moly chocolate! And I mean like literal chocolate. Chocolate as a lolly, not the lolly that's brown like chocolate. Oh, Roman, it's light and it's spongy, but it's not quite light enough to be airy, you know? What? It's a strawberry sponge cake. What did you expect? So it's good. Got all the textures you could hope for, but it's leaving the flavor to the frosting and the film. It's heavenly. It's, it's sublime. And I've only just gotten started. I take a sip of my coffee. Coffee. Trying to hide a chuckle and a smile. I nervously pull away from her as I check my pockets. Before I forget, I have something I wanted to give you. Close your eyes, okay? Really? Well, okay. Monica covers her eyes with her hands. But we don't have the sprite for that! Um, actually, I need your hands, so I really need you to just close her. Oh, alright. This better not be a ring or anything. Haha, <laughs> not quite, no. That's probably a few years off yet. I gently... Take her hand and slip my thin gift onto her wrist. What do you think? Monica opens her eyes and quickly spots and looks over my gift for her. A green bracelet matching the color of her eyes. Oh, Roman. And the bracelet is not new. It's beautiful. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe for future videos. And until next time, you're the Erman.